Hey, 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 good afternoon, good evening, and uh, good morning some places in the world, right? It is the 39th episode of the Dueling Dealers of Comic Art, and I am your host, Bill Cox. For those new to the show, the format is simple. Structured like a prize fight, two original comic art dealers will present comic art for sale that is either new to the market or priced to sell. The dealer with the most sales by the end of the show is crowned tonight's champion. During tonight's main event, all artworks presented by each dealer will be priced $1,000 or less. Rounds 1 through 6 will be priced $500 or less, and rounds 7 through 12 will be priced $1,000 or less. For a total of 12 rounds, with each dealer being given 90 seconds per round to pre present two pieces of art. In total, 48 artworks will be available for purchase during the show. Viewers are encouraged to be a part of the show by engaging in friendly conversation in the YouTube chat. And if you're watching on YouTube, please smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications so you never miss any of the shows on the Comic Art Live channel. To claim an artwork you wish to purchase this evening, type your claim in the chat in the following format. Claim 1A-Mike or claim 7B-Anthony. The word claim followed by the round number, a dash, and the dealer's first name. And of course, because there are two pieces of art, please always remember to use an A or a B in your claims. Each time a dealer presents an artwork, the exact claim wording will be on the screen just above the art description. Try to claim the artwork during the dealer's round, but if you miss that window, you can claim the artwork at any time during the rest of the show. You will be given a last chance to purchase artwork during the recap, where the dealers are more open to wheel and deal if the duel is indeed a close one. Since this is the internet, there can be technical issues. My God, did we not see enough of that today. When several people try to claim the same artwork at the same time, your browser may not order your chat in the same order that we see it here in the studio. Our view of the chat is ordered properly, and we will make the final decision for whom has claimed the artwork. During a dealer's round, you are allowed to make an offer on the artwork presented. The dealer is not required to respond, reply, acknowledge, or even accept this offer, but be courteous and only message dealers who are currently presenting their art for sale. After the show, be sure to contact each dealer if you've claimed any artwork. Let them know which artwork you claimed, your mailing address, and your YouTube or Facebook name if it's up. Let's get ready to wheel and deal! Love the new opening. Thank you. Throw that yeah. cake. <laughs> I just found that today. I was digging through some old uh, video clips that you guys sent me, and I found That's that. And I'm like, fun. this would work good for today. Like a little Thank bit you. of little cake tossing going. <laughs> <laughs> cake toss. Cake toss. So, uh, so what's what's new in uh, both of your worlds tonight? Uh, start off with you, Snyder. Are you prepping for New York Comic Con? Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, yep, yeah, we're uh, getting the staffing together. I'm down to just three booths on the end of the aisle. Uh, Assad's not coming, so I don't have to manage him during that time. It's, it's uh, you know, it's revenue loss, but uh, it, it it is easier on me during the whole show, the the whole shebang. So I'll just have my best stuff, my you know, Marvel DC artists and. Uh, some you know my cgc's my awesome books. stuff just the Packing best stuff it up, getting it ready and getting it over there and getting uh you know annoyed by the uh, union people over there no yeah, yeah. wouldn't be a show if you didn't get annoyed by the union people or well or just anybody right so uh what about you mike what's new in your world he's muted that's what's new in his world Mike, you're muted, my friend. You can't hear him. Oh, I never yeah. liked him so much. Wow. Yeah, sorry. During the intro, I always hit the mute button. I said, oh, I'm just doing a big home renovation. It's taking up all my time. Oh, that's fun. What are, you, what are you doing? Oh, there will be a whole new bedroom and a new kitchen and new everything. Oh, I'm jealous. Change is good. It'll be pretty nice, yeah. Awesome. As I'll long as we can get in the months, show on Saturday, that's all I care about. I know we got to move a lot of stuff for Saturday's show. I'm getting art ready for Saturday's show. All We're having right, a Saturday yeah. 50 piece art drop. Me and Bill Saturday at 5 p.m. Yep. Fun. 
Yeah, that should make up for not coming to Comic Con. Yeah, you, like, you don't have to travel. Just do the do the business. Virtual Comic Con, right here. That's it. I saved like fifteen thousand dollars by selling art from home instead of going to the show. So, <laughs> see, Mar Margaret uh, asked, "Doesn't Mike's art usually sell better when he's muted?" I think that's Anthony actually when uh, he's muted. That's true. That's true. Or when I'm selling Anthony's art. <laughs> uh, that's all right. It's all right. I, I didn't mean it, Anthony. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Uh, and uh, so why don't we get this coin flip out of the way? I can only imagine who's going to uh, win the coin flip, but we'll see. So Elliot, I've started it out on Sharon and Anthony. So let's see what happens. Hey, look at that. Hey. Wow. can happen. This is new. I don't know what to do. I know. <laughs> I have no idea what to do. Hmm. Well, the hmm. Hulk thing. You know, you didn't put Hulk. I noticed this is the first ever your opening screen, like for Facebook and everything. You have Hulk Bell and Thor. There was no, I mean, you have Thing Bell and Thor. There was no Hulk on it. So I knew Anthony would win today. Oh, oh there you superstitious. Go. You're running out of Hulk Thing uh, <laughs> battle images, huh? I am. I am. I don't, I don't like recycling things too often. But all right, Anthony, make what's what's your decision here, sir? If Sharon oh, wins. Win. If Sharon wins, I'll go first. What do you mean if I? No, win? if I win, you go first. What are you talking about? No, if we win, we'll what go you, first. What are you doing? Rock <laughs> paper scissors. Rock, scissors shoot. Anthony. Rock okay. paper scissors. Shoot. Rock break scissors. So I'll go. Uh, I'll go first since you like to. Wow. You like to go second. Oh, that go was first. more complicated than I thought it was going to be. All right, Anthony's going to lead off. He he prefers you to go know. first. This is yeah, just as, Mike, it's, as, right. it's just as if you won. <laughs> All right. So remember, yes. everybody, 12 rounds, two artworks per round. Make sure you include, when you do your claim, claim 1A dash Anthony, claim 2B dash Mike. Always include the letter with your claims this evening because every round needs it. All right, Anthony, let's get your, and, and it's 90 seconds per round for all 12 rounds. So, all right, Anthony, here we go. Your 1A artwork is on the screen. It's ready. Yep. We're ready. Here so we this go. is a Graham Nolan uh, card art. Uh, it says number 75, and it's uh, signed by Graham Nolan and Scott Hanna. It's got Batman punching a big baddie. It might be that Batman. same guy. It might be that same guy I had from that Greg Land splash last, last Can week. Can I hold it? Yeah, Blockbuster, somebody said he was. And he's right in the cereal aisle. Ooh. I like cereal. We well, like cereal in the middle of the night. Yeah. Midnight snack. So this is, a uh, well, it's, the art is like seven and a half by nine. Seven by nine. Seven by nine. Very claimy. Very claimy Graham Lond published card art. It says number 84, and then it says number 75. And we can. Ooh, uh, Graham Nolan. Yep, here's your one or the artwork. Okay, so this, if you look, Wonder Woman. Yeah, this is a nice 11 by 17 uh, board, and this was the cover art for the DC Heroes Macaroni and Cheese Box. Whoa! Yeah, by Mike DiCarlo. So you. All right. This was. Uh, uh, looks. It looks like a toy aisle. What? No. No, uh, what? It's, no, this was the mac and cheese art. It's I mac can and look cheese. it up. You're getting confused. This is Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, and the mac and cheese box. Hmm? You don't have an image of the published box that compares? No, you that would be so up. cool. Um, great. Uh, I'm, I've well, seen it. Thought before. we'd have cereal and mac and cheese in the first round. Right? <laughs> Making me hungry. And that's right. Batman was assaulting a grocery shopper. Just. Because. <laughs> All right, Mr. Berkey, let's get your 1A artwork on the screen. Here we go. All right. Very cool. Spanish. Artist. This is this is all art. I just thought this was cool. Diego Whoa. September. He's a Spain. He's an artist from Spain doing a, this is all art. This is yeah. beautiful. 8.2 by 11.8 inches. Beautiful. Arnold Schwarzenegger Conan. And again, this is all mixed media, all art. Beautiful piece, just two hundred and fifty bucks. I just thought, what a what a what a beautiful uh, pin up the frame or whatnot. But uh, by Diego Septiembre, if you look him up online, it's really his stuff is really amazing. So just a beautiful pin up. Uh, 
mixed media, really, really nice. So, yeah, it looks like Anthony's photos uh, when he was working out, huh? I never had biceps like that. Uh, that's the Arnold. So that's the first one, just 250 Next piece, very cool for you X-Men fans, a beautiful X-Men page. B Bishop, uh, issue two, page four, Georges Gente and Ink by Art Tiber. Got Bishop, Jinx, Link, Nom, Scorch, and Witness all featured. Beautiful page for just 275 all the X-Men all over it. That's a really cool piece for the price, folks. So you got everybody there. One, two, three, four, five. You got six characters all over it. And we have a claim for the first piece. How about that second piece? All the X-Men, 275, folks. All the X-Men, seven of them. <laughs> so we got a claim. On the first one, thank you so much. Yes, thank you, man. Yeah. That's a beautiful piece. You'll love it. Are you gonna show the magazine? Yeah, yeah, show it. Yeah, I found it on. Yeah, there it is. That's the published box. Oh, yeah, let's uh, full screen it here. Look at that. Uh, yeah, Superhero. what's that? Isn't that awesome? Superhero mac and cheese. Very nice. Everybody Very loves cool. mac and cheese and superheroes. So it's a published cover. Box published box. cheese box. Yes. yes. Very cheesy, but. All right, on to round two. <laughs> Anthony, let's get your 2A artwork on the screen. Here we go. All right, this is by Javier Fernandez. Oh, look, look out, everybody. Yeah. Joker, gun drawn. Gun drawn, and this is uh, an homage to a uh, Joker series that went on. I saw the cover. I forgot the title, but I should. Can you write that up to me? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, scary. we look good. Yeah. So you got a Joker by the Fernandez. Uh, he's doing work for DC, and it's a pretty cool. That's like about an eight by ten, eight by ten piece. It's very scary and awesome. Yeah. And, and from and 2020, gun, it's really awesome. It says bang. All right. Whoa. So, and then another one to go with. I got this from the same guy, the same collector, but it's two different artists. This is by Guillerme, I mean, Guillerme Martinez, and it's really, oh, another Joker. really beautiful ink wash Joker piece. A little splatter. With, with blood splatter. Oh, Pat. Hey. Cat! 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 Thank you very much, Cat. Yes, thank you very much, Cat. I put your uh, 2A back, back on the screen. That yes. Thing, I think. All right. So we got it's the amused. the Joker being menacing with a big, Giant what is that, a 357, 357 there, uh, Bill? All right. It's awesome. Oh my God! I still rem oh, I love that cake so much. <laughs> that was from round. That, that was the was first hard. episode. I didn't draw. All I all I ask is for her to make that cake again. <laughs> One day, maybe for the fiftieth episode. I am not making edible cakes. I'm making artistic cakes, so yeah. he doesn't eat it. Wise move. Wise move. Oh, I think he got Anthony got an offer on his two A at two fifty. Which one? This one. Two A. Is that the two A or two B? You got a uh, right. The same girl, Cat asked two. All right, Cat. All right, you're gonna be you're gonna be in town this week, right? And uh, I have something on hold for me from last week, and then I'll do the the whole round for you at that. Yep, we okay. can do that. Two fifty on this one, three fifty on the other. So combo, six. combo, yeah, <laughs> combo. It's a cat combo. All right, congratulations, Cat. That's a a good combo there. Yay! All right, all right Mike. Let's get you started on round two. Okay, okay. And 2A is on the screen. Very cool. This is pencil. There's a little bit of, looks like almost a little bit of watercolor. Beautiful. Tony DeZaniga, Jonah Hex pinup. This is drawn on 11 by 14 board. It's beautiful. It's it's not dated, but boy, it sure looks nice. Beautiful pinup of Jonah Hex by the guy who drew him back in the day. Uh, Tony DeZaniga uh, uh, drew Jonah Hex uh, back in the day. So, uh I thought that's a beautiful pinup on 11 by 14 inch artboard and the 
It's very, very detailed. Very nice piece. Is it almost dated? It looks like it's washed, but it's all in pencil with a little bit of, by the hand, it almost looks like there's an itty bit of watercolor on it, but really, really nice. So no I thought date? for 300 bucks, that's a neat piece. What's that, Bill? No I date. said no date. It's undated. I said undated. undated. I don't know when it's right. done, but so that's right. the first one. 300 bucks, yep. 11 by 14. Nice piece. Next piece, very cool. Howard Porter and RT Bear. Countdown number 20. Very, very cool piece. We got Red Arrow, Vixen, Wildcat, Hawkman, Jakeem Thunder, the Golden Age Green Lantern, Batman, and Alfred all on this page for just 300 bucks. So a lot of characters doing a lot of different things on it. So uh, everybody, you got like that all-star three, every, all the heroes around the round table, sort of cool. Batman and Alfred in the Bat Cave at the bottom. Golden Age Green Arrow at a bar with some of the other heroes. But you got them all there, but I just thought for 300 bucks, very cool piece. The Great Howard Porter, inked by Art T. Bear. 300 bucks only. You can't fight crime if you're not selling any art. <laughs> Sorry, I know I didn't have that meme loaded, so there you go. There you have it. All right, moving over to round three, Anthony. What was the joke? Tell um. Me. Oh, what happened when Bruce Wayne bumped his head? I don't know. What happened when Bruce Wayne bumped his head, Sharon? What happened? He became Bruised Wayne. Bruised oh Wayne. <laughs> so much Batman, we had to go with the Batman joke. Yep, yep, yep. That's all right. That's all right. All right. Now, round three, and Anthony leads this off. So let's get Anthony's 3A artwork on the board. So this, I'm starting off here. With, uh, welcome to Tranquility. This is a published cover by EVS. EVS. Look at that. It's got the hero, and he's got the Statue of Liberty uh, torch, and there's this uh, really cute uh, bunny uh, girl, and that is a published cover by EVS for the $500. 500 In the $500 round? Oh, my goodness. A published cover. Who Yay! likes it? Who likes it? And that's from what year? It's from 2010. It's 11 years old. 2010. 11 years old. All right. So then we have another published cover for the $500 era by Tony Harris. This is called War Heroes. War Heroes. And it's got some uh, fighter, uh, American fighter pilots, and uh, then this. Aladdin sort of guy is uh, riding his magic carpet on his wings with his uh, sword. So two published covers uh, for in the $500 range by two well-known artists, EVS and Tony Harris. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. Oh. And they're both still here. Looks like Bin Laden's brother on the wing. <laughs> it does sort of. And uh, Margaret Lee is telling jokes in the uh, chat, everybody. So keep an eye out for that. And she's got a few more Batman jokes as well. So keep keep them coming. Keep them coming. All right. So, uh, Mr. Berkey, round three. Let's get your first artwork. Are you here. Green Lantern fans out there? For you Green Lantern fans out there, check this out. Really nice Green Lantern all over it by uh, Claude St. Aubin, Romeo Tangal. Beautiful page with Green Lantern and Carol Ferris throughout as she's ch changing into a, uh, uh, I forgot, uh, uh, what's the girl's name again? Oh, Star Sapphire. She's changing into Star Sapphire and Green Lantern is trying to stop her from changing into Star Sapphire. But just a, to me, a really cool piece for just 300 bucks. Really nice. 1993 page. This is 28 years old just three hundred dollars beautiful green lantern page there folks 300 bucks i thought that one would go quick but it's it's a good page it'll sell so 300 bucks whoever wants first and very cool john Byrne pencil and ink wonder woman page unfortunately it's all about it's all about this uh futuristic city 
and the guy creates a machine. That's a semi splash to it, but John Byrne pencil and inks, and his machine goes haywire, and the whole the whole uh, planet goes into a, a a winter freeze ice age. But it's John Byrne pencil and inks, Wonder Woman number one seventeen signed. I thought for four hundred bucks, just get a really inexpensive a John Byrne pencil and ink Wonder Woman page. And there's lots of gadgets and, and stuff like that on there, signed by Burn on the side, with all these futuristic Kryptonian-looking people. Ah! Lots of pinatas there. Three hundred bucks. These are two good pieces. All right, on to round four, Mr. Snyder. Are you ready? Yeah, uh, Cumberbatch Pepper Pot. I'll counter at four fifty right now on the EVS. Okay. All righty. I will make it four fifty as well on my sheet. Very good. And everybody's telling jokes in the. Uh, in the oh, chat. what did I start? <laughs> Larry already <laughs> claimed it. What do you, what Larry's claimed it. He hasn't. Even, you haven't even shown it yet. Oh well, Cumber Cumberbatch has uh, taken that deal at four. Okay, that's cool. Thank you, Pepper Pot. That's the EVS at four fifty. All right. Yay. <laughs> yes, we we understand, Larry. Not a problem. All right, now we're going to start round four with Anthony leading us off here. So I have another, another cover, another published cover in the five hundred dollar round. Wow, it's a forty-eight page Mother Russia, but you know it's cool because it's got zombies all over it. Look, you know, they has got zombies. And this Russian looking chick, and they're in Mother Russia. Here's the comic book, comes with it. And, you know, it's kind of an indie feel on it, but it's got lots of zombies. Lots of zombies. Sharon, tell another joke. Uh, <laughs> now, every time I stop, she's got to tell a joke. What happened when Batman? Oh, no, we did that one. <laughs> All right, so we got Mother Russia and zombies, lots of zombies. All right, and uh, hey, sorry, and the next piece, not All a right, cover. Well, uh, just to keep things really moving along fast, here we go. Ooh, Here's a one. really, really nice Sergeant Fury by the immortal Jim Steranko for the five hundred dollar round. Here you go. Uh, I've had these. I sell. I've sold them up to like six fifty. So I'm putting value into this round for everybody here on the and show. And only 500? Yep, 500. And usually 650. That's exactly. And uh, you know these uh, what's he call? He call what's he call these? He, he has a name for these, but I mean it's a really nice one. There's a lot of detail to it, a lot of great hair because Jim's known for his hair and a good <laughs> eye pad. No, man, I put these up on the site. They sell at 650. Wow. No sale. Do I tell a joke if you don't sell? Mm, no. Well, I did sell an EVS during the offer period. <laughs> that that is true. That is. You don't true. want to confuse the bill. Come on. That what is, it's called. It's a. It's called Snyder. What I get. Dinosaur. I, I didn't What's get Superman's least favorite, favorite dinosaur? dinosaur. The Cryptonosaurus. Tyrannosaurus Lex. There you go. Now we're moving over in the <laughs> <Superman> direction. <laughs> yeah, they both That's have no funny. hair. <laughs> they both have no hair. All right, somebody, all right. Somebody okay, Kevin, actually, Kevin took the Steranko. Oh. Hi, Kevin. How are you? Yep. The right. owner, operator of Chiller Theater. Nice oh. pickup, Kevin. That, that was a very good price. I was. Yeah, very good. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. I well, give very good price here. Anthony gives good price. All right, he does. All right, round four for Mr. Berkey. Here we go. Round four. Very cool for you Thor fans. A semi-splash page. Thor number 50, page 19. Thor all over it. Just 400 bucks. Great page. Dion Nicholas, uh, inked by the great Scott Hanna from the Spider-Man era. But great Thor page with Thor holding his hammer as he gets ready for battle. Great three-panel page with a two-thirds splash. So... From Thor issue 50. I thought that was a pretty good page. 
three six splash. Yeah, it's more of a two thirds. I say the so, yay. So that's the first one there. I All thought right. for four hundred bucks, that's a pretty good Thor baby. So that's the first one. Second one, it's a really nice one for you, Paul Galacy fans. Pencils and inks. Check this out. GI Joe Special Missions number four. Just a great all-out battle page. That is a sweet, sweet Galacy there, folks. And the, all the backgrounds are all inked too. <laughs> this is just a phenomenal, awesome shootout with samurai sword battles throughout, and knives and guns and ninjas and. Just a really cool pencil and ink Paul Galacy page from 2013 and the really cool signature at the bottom. But I thought that's a pretty cool, uh, if you like Galacy, this is vintage Galacy uh, and how he sets up his page and all the, I mean, the page is like 70% inked for crying out loud. So really cool that's page there, folks. And thank you, Larry, for the bad claim uh, tax. We appreciate it. No problem. It happens. It always happens once or twice in a, an episode. It's all right. Uh, let's see. So round five, moving right along here tonight. So let's get Anthony up on the board with his first artwork, 5A. Here we go. All right. For you X-Men fans out there, I I dug this page. When I picked it up, it's like, wow, that's unique. I'm going to use this one on the show. This is a page where Wolverine and the professor – are killing each other. You're killing me, Professor. Oh, you're killing me, Wolverine. You're killing me, Smalls. Look at that. Wow. And a great vintage uh, Jim Callie of Forey. Uh, wow, I even said his name right. Whoa. All right, so X-Men fans, great page where Wolverine versus uh, he's under mind control and he stabs a Professor and the Professor mentally blasts him, and there he goes down. The Professor and Wolverine both. All right. So Eric Cannon signed it. Uh, he inked it. There's a signature of him. And, yeah, it is, because when, you know, when he hits it, it's good. Right, Sharon? It definitely is good when he hits it. <laughs> Oh, my God. Here's one for the Berkster. It's Hulk wearing pearl necklace. Hulk wears pearl <laughs> necklace by Tom Morgan. So this was published in, like, a coloring book, activity <laughs> book. Hulk wants pearl necklace. Ah! From his boyfriend. I got a... All right. So yeah, you don't see go. Hulk in drag too often. Oh, but look on the back. There's shoes on the back. Shoes. Hulk and drag. I don't know where in the world that was, uh, What I mean, the context of it. Uh, but, it, you know, it's definitely published Marvel art with the, uh, it's on heavy board uh, for one of those activity books or cookbooks or, you know, Hulk and kitchen cooking. I don't know. I love yeah. it. I like that. Uh, Naughty or nice. Uh, it's soon to be a Marvel movie. All right. Uh, moving over sure, to Sharon, go get Mr. your Burton. pearl necklace. It's like your Tiffany necklace. I bought. Here we go, Mike. Yeah. Round five. All righty. Got to get it on the screen. Here you go. For you Ghost Rider fans, check out this really nice Ron Garney Ghost Rider page. It has a great page. It has Johnny Blaze and Ghost Rider and Vengeance all on it. So. Really nice page with all of them on there. Very, very, very cool. And a couple of sexy babes. Johnny Blaze getting a drink. I thought that was pretty cool. 450 bucks. Ron Garney, who's real famous for drawing Ghost Rider back in the 90s. Shoot, I forgot the year on this, but I know this is like early 90s. So very, very cool page. 450 bucks with, uh, again, all three of them, the three of them, Johnny Blaze, Ghost Rider, and Vengeance. So that's the first one. And all the right. second one for you guys. I just thought it'd be cool. You get the full pencils. Bernie Wrights and Batman the Cult, the, the classic Batman series. Uh, a pe pencil page and the published page Bill has right next to him. He can show that. But from issue one where the two cops... Uh, two signed also on the side, 
and uh, the two cops are talking about, written by Jim Starlin, drawn entirely by Bernie Wrights and the cops, uh, trying to figure out, talking to each other about how to solve these murders with this guy that's been just killing all these people in, uh, in Gotham and signed at the bottom by Bernie Wrights. But 500 bucks, and this is large art, 14.75 by 20.25 inches. Get yourself a signed Bernie Wrights for under 500 bucks. Hey Mike, you did have a offer on your 5A artwork for 375 from Jason. Uh Jason, if we could do 400 uh it's yours. So, that sounds fine. Hey, why was Johnny Blaze needing a drink so bad? I don't know, Anthony. Cuz he's such a hothead. There you have it. I just wrote that. Come on. <laughs> it's, it it came off as if you just wrote it too. All right, so it's $400. Always, always a flatterer, Mr. Cox. Yeah, always a flatterer. I am. I am. It's one of those. Why did Aquaman of... cross the road? To get to the other tide. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Touchdown. I did not read that. See? Oh, I'm boy. Mind of a writer. Right. <laughs> On to round six. Here we go, Anthony. I guessed that one. All right, this is Andy McDonald, a great, great technical artist. Really, de- with his oh, neck yeah. NYC uh, creator, super detailed guy. Look at all those books. We should burn them. No, I mean, you know, that guy wants, I don't know, who is that guy? No, that's, that is a. Uh, Looks like he loves those books. Yeah, he's sitting on the books. So I have the comic <laughs> sitting on the books. Wow, that's more books than I've read in my life, that's for sure. I don't agree with that. I think you've read a lot of books, especially nah. comic books. I don't Hello. read comic books. Who reads comic oh, books anymore? You did. I don't know. He had boxes. All right, of so comic this books. is from uh, which one? Dude, can't find the, the front page to this. Uh, we're moving over to your next oh. Star Wars. Oh, okay. Batman <laughs> Rebirth. So Batman Rebirth. That's a splash. All right. All right, moving on. All right. So Andy McDonald, uh, Villain Splash. I like it for 500 Okay, so, you know. Like, Bernie Wrightson, moving Bert- on. <laughs> what the? Warm I know. I, we do not discuss this. What's your best price on the pearl necklace, Anthony? Woo, the hokey one. Well, the, the, don't, the last don't pearl necklace hey, I bought don't, was $5,000. Okay, so we got... We got the Bernie Wrightson. This is from the Warm Red, and it's got kind of a nudie woody woman. And oh, uh, I have a print, naked bondage babe. A signed print that goes with it. A signed print. <laughs> that one looks like it's drawn. <laughs> Come on, guys! I'm the one drinking coffee, but you need to wake up. Thank you, Chris. Not a oh, thank you, Chris. All right, which one? Uh, what What's your best pearl necklace the, price? The 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 Hulk-y. I think that was they're just playing on words there. Oh, okay. all right. Don't worry. You right. Right. Best price there. on that in the recap. All right. There is. Uh, Look at that detail on that. Oof. That's good. Look at that and glare on that bag. All right, Mr. Berkey, round six. Let's see. Okay. Take it away. Mark Dos Santos. This is actually a published print. I said. Bill will show a couple of very cool with Batgirl and Ace the Bat Hound. Beautiful pinup by Mark Dos Santos done on 11 by 17 board. The original art, this was titled The Gotham Girls Prince. They did four different prints. There, Bill is showing. Uh, this is the far right side of the four piece print. They just combined them all into one big thing. But it's published a, a Gotham Girls print. And a beautiful image of Batgirl and Ace the Bat Hound. Beautiful full pinup. And she's holding a bag of bat treats for Ace the Bat Hound. How about that, huh? <laughs> Very cool piece. So, that's a great one for Rich Donnelly because he and his brother do uh, dog treats. Great dogs, yep. So that's the first one. Second one, very cool. Golden Age, 1947. Rex, uh, Rex Maxson. Very cool. Four nice panels. Beautiful Tarzan battling a, a crocodile in, in every panel. So very cool 1947 strip. Just so you know, I have the uh, 
uh, the word blurbs in a different language go with it also. But I wanted uh, the, the English strips are underneath. And uh, I think there's Spanish strips, uh, the glue on that, that went over top of the English because they printed it in other languages. So Golden Age, 1940s, Tarzan strip. It's pretty cool. It's, it's uh, uh, pretty large. It's like 20 inches across. I should measure it, but it's from got that tape measure, 47. Yeah, I forgot to measure it. All right. That, yes, and thank you, Eric, for the juvenile joke donation. Yeah, it's 21 inches across. So Good very guess. cool, 1947. I had one of these on our art drop, and it sold immediately. So, And this, I thought, was the best one. So very cool. And what, what was the uh, language on, this, on the uh, word balloons that you took off? I don't know. I think they're Spanish. I could show some of them. I have them in a bag. Oh, it's fan yeah, you're, okay. I have all four word blurbs in a bag. But no problem. I thought, Maybe the recap. Oh, you want to see the English word, so they were like loosely on, so I pulled them off this, so, so you could read it in English. The page, but all four word balloons are come with it. We're not doing that one, Marcus. I'm sorry. I'll I'll pay more for that than uh, the opportunity to dress up in the outfit. So, moving right along to round seven, Anthony. Let's get uh, you yes. started here. It's your 7A artwork. All right. We're in the $1,000 round now, right? Yes, sir. All right. So and this you're still under is, it. Yeah. Still under this, is, uh, this is by the great Joe Prado. Really great guy and a really great artist. He, uh, you know, it's became, Warlord. You were a Warlord, yeah. Anthony. And this says uh, tryout like he was doing a tryout for DC uh, cover try. But it's a cover quality commission, if that's what you want to call it. And, uh, you know, for a portfolio piece and uh, that, you know, if you're like a, if you like sword swinging heroes, here's one for you. Yeah. He's pretty cool. Lord, Lord. He's, sword. He's got hair. 2008, 750 bucks. Yeah. Muscles. What did Marcus Y want for $300? Uh, to buy your, uh, your She-Hulk if I would dress up as it in a meme. <laughs> but here's your 7B artwork. You mean my he she hulk with the pearl necklace? Yeah, that one. Ah. So I the theme for this round is sword swinging and axe swinging. And this is ah! this is an actual Jackson guys published cover to Eternal Warrior Geo Macer. Seven hundred dollars. Geo Macer. Geo Macer. It's like you know it's uh huh it's a uh, and it's signed by the guys. It's Geomancer. And, yeah, Geomancer, Geomacer. It's uh, I see you Mancer. Know, acclaimed. <laughs> no! Don't, don't do that. <laughs> hey, Mike, you did an offer on your four B uh, Gulasi piece. At uh, three fifty, and you were at four fifty on that one. Uh, they'll do. Uh, wait, claim. That was uh, the one you were at four fifty. They offered three fifty. I had four fifty. Yes, sir. Uh, tell them I'll go four. And I uh, said somebody claimed five B. Oh, that was the uh, right thing. Uh, did I miss that one? I I must. Yes, have. it's on there. All right. At nine twenty nine, Chris. Oh, is that it? Was it nine twenty nine? Yeah, far up there. Claim five wow, B. I don't know how I missed that. Then I apologize. I think it was all the jokes that were flying by. Well, because I went, yeah, five B. I because I went to look at Jason's, and I was going to accept. Just oh no, 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 no! That was a missed one. No, that was a Chris. Oh, Chris no. was the missed one. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. yeah. Chris Snort. It's, yes. So I, yeah, we took care of that one. Oh, all I didn't right. know it was Chris's. Okay. Yep. But anyway, yep. uh, uh, Jason offered three seventy five. I'll just do that for the uh, for the Agarni uh, Ghost Rider page. All right, that was your five A at three seventy five. I'm not going to go yeah, back. Yeah, that and was uh, this one that. here. Yep, that goes to Jason D'Ambrosio. So, Thank yeah, you very was, much, Jason. I was Jason. looking back at that yeah. to see who made the offer, and then I saw the claim five B. I didn't know that that was a, a miss hit. Yep, and you did have a uh, offer from. Uh, Brent Dubs at 350 on that Ace and Bat Girl that you were at. What did I have on that? You were at 500. 500? 
Mm -hmm. uh, Brent, if you could do four and a quarter, I'll do. Matter of fact, I'll go four hundred. If you could do four hundred, I'll do four hundred on it. Okay, that's good. So counter offer. That way we can get 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 it sold uh, with before the recaps. Yes. And the Glazy, I said what? I had 400, 450 on the Glazy? Right, and you said 400. And I'll do 400 on that as well, right? Just say it in the comments and they're yours. At them or whoever else. Uh, right, and the Glazy was your 4B. And okay. the uh, uh, Gotham Girls piece was your 6A. But we are going over to your 7A right okay. now. So let's get one on screen. Here we go. 7A, beautiful Supergirl splash of Superboy. Now, just so you know, this is the inks only uh, uh, piece by Norm Ratman because it was penciled uh, by Jose Luis Blue Lines. But beautiful, beautiful, full pinup. And I think we have a claim. Yes, we do. Spider Man FLA. Thank you very much. Thank you. And let's get your 7B on the screen. There you go. 7B, really cool, beautiful. Dave Gibbons, Rorschach. Rorschach illustration from 2018. And this is penciled and ink. This ain't just a quick doodle. This is a really nice piece. And it's larger than a lot of these smaller ones. It's 9 by 12. Uh, and we have a claim. And I thought it was a really cool piece. And I love the smiley button on his coat, too. Well, that's, that is pure watchman, Mr. Berkey. Well, thanks so much for those guys. It's pronounced Rorschach, huh? <laughs> Bill's overtaken me, huh? <laughs> I guess so. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. On to round eight. Let's get uh, Mr. Snyder all set up here. And here we go. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Oh, my gosh. I'm jumping the gun on you, Anthony. Sorry. It's all right. All right. In the interest of being claiming, here we go. And Edward Barreto. And Romeo Tango, New Team Titans, all action page. Romeo! Bra boom! Romeo, it's got, Romeo, where for Alpha? Romeo, it's for got the, uh, the, the, the cyborg and chameleon boy, and they're moving and grooving and, and in action against a bad guy with a ray gun. Cra boom! And it's oversized art. It's sick. Oh, look, uh, two hands, but ah. two and a half hands. <laughs> yes, Eduardo Barreto, very, very good artist, and Romeo Tango. Super claimy. Super claimy. And then to get really claimy, what you here got? we go, is a Jim Aparo vintage piece. This is really nice. Published page from, what is it, 73? 273 70, 1972. That is a really nice apparel. Looking like the vintage apparel that you want when you get the apparel. Uh, the apparel I fell in love with when I was a kid. Yeah. And he's like chained up to the ceiling like versus the dark circle. Ooh. Stranger. No sale. All righty then. Short and sweet on that one. No sale, Mr. Snyder. Wah, wah. Exactly. All right, Berkey. On to round eight. So let's get. I there. have this piece tonight specifically so the Donnelly brothers don't get first dibs on it, so other people can finally get some Ramita X Men art. <laughs> oh, and guess what? Your your eight uh, a slide is not in the queue. I can it's see not. right. It's not. 8A? It, yeah, in my in my queue here, because Gwen must have missed not loading it. That's okay. I could just show it. Oh, okay, here you go. We'll do 8B first. How's that? Oh, we'll do 8B first. Sure. And then sure. they're going to upload 8, 8, 8, 8A for you. So we'll do 8B okay, first. that's fine. Yeah, here you go. I like this. Check it out. This is actually the Batman image. This is the preliminary. If Bill, show the smaller one. I just thought that just to show the, the one with both. But this is the preliminary cover to Wonder Woman 166 by Adam Hughes. It's him drawing the Batman figure on the cover. So I thought that's pretty cool. It's a uh, 10.25 uh, uh, by 14 inches. Beautiful. The Batman image that's used for the cover to Wonder Woman 166. 
back in 2001. I think we have a claim. Uh, well, I wanted to ask Mel if he was claiming the 8B because I think he was, but he didn't put the B on there. And then Pat the L came in. We haven't shown yet. Right, exactly. Well, he didn't say A or B. He just said claim oh, 8. Yeah. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt for the moment. But it would well, be great actually, you can... have it as 8, not 8B, I think, on the thing. That's why. No, it doesn't say that. It says 8B, Mr. Mike. That's okay. Uh, I see round eight only. So, but, oh, it says round eight and underneath yeah. that it says claim eight. Oh, dash, there it is. Eight, I just thought. Okay. All right. So Mel says it was a mistake. So we're giving this to Pat. Sorry, it took us twenty seconds to figure that one out. Pat got it right. Let's uh, go and show well, your. That's a beautiful eight. piece. I'm going to show your eight A now, and you'll get a few extra seconds for that. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. This is published, John Ramita Senior. Pencils and inks, and it's published. They even have the production notes. It's probably used in one of the Marvel books, but anyway, it's penciled and inked and published by the great John Romita. Now, it is smaller. Uh, the image of him is actually 2.7 by 6 inches, but signed on vellum on board. But it's penciled and inked by uh, John Romita and published in one of the Marvel books. And I think we have a claim. Oh, yes. Rich is on. I didn't think Rich was on. See, you, you, you're giving Rich the business, and he was actually here the whole time. I said so. he's probably doing it from a car. How about that? He told there me last go. night he was in Montana driving to New York, so I didn't think he'd be around. But it's well, a beautiful that, piece. It's that was Patrick my fault because I checked your art before the show, and I don't know how I didn't see it. I just clearly missed it. So if that, right, uh, Thanks so bad. much, though. Got both sales that round. Yeah, yeah. Does that deserve a meme? Yay. <laughs> well, it should. I mean, are we going to show some cake or something right now, or are we not showing any Let cake? Let Ramita cake. Man eat some cake now. Ramita Man. Cake. Ramita Man. Cake. <laughs> <laughs> There's our cake, I guess, for the round. <laughs> uh, did, is Sharon getting us some cake? Yeah. All right. So, to like hit both sides of it you know i'm gonna have uh you know a presence at the new york comic con and all the fans of the dueling dealers of comic book art can come by and get cupcakes look I mean, at that dueling dealers of comic book art cupcakes cupcakes yay so she's got They're a little fun. her little containers for them and with the dueling dealers of comic book art colors and all the customers and fans of the show that want to come by and They're give not me photographing very well, but give they, me some business. They look oh, they're thinking those for the show. They look beautiful. Yeah, they look beautiful. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> and if I win tonight, I get to eat one. Oh, come on. He does, but not the frosting. Yeah, we, we smear the frosting off. So I'll have cupcakes for all the customers for the dueling dealers of comic book art. And Cat, Cat claims them all for Sharon. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Da, 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 da. Yay. We have stickers. I want one. Come on. Yeah. Very nice. Yes. Well, you should have lots of people stop by your booth and ask you what's your best price, Anthony. I think all. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's your best price? Price on that cupcake, Anthony. Cupcakes are free. Yay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it, everybody. If you're going to New York, stop by Anthony's booth for some cupcakes. Are you reading on the side? Nick is saying there, there's a couple people questioning on who got what in the last round, Bill. Well, uh, well Nick claimed... 8A, he was really trying to say 8B, but he did it after Pat L. I know it probably okay. appeared before his, but if you if you were, I, I mean, I already scrolled back and triple checked it. His claim came in right after Pat L. Pat L said claim 8B, uh, and Nick said claim A. It didn't matter. Pat L had gotten it in before uh, oh, okay. Nick by a fraction of a second. So uh, I was going to mention that. So controversy averted. All right. Uh, so again, Anthony Snyder's booth, lots of cupcakes. Check it out if you're in. And I, kind of I should have six sales, I believe. I count six pieces I have on hold, but uh, I've got six for you as well. We'll we'll work that out. Don't you worry, Mister. Okay, Bill. I just want to make sure they had it in the in the record keeping. Yep. 
All right, so we're moving over to round nine. And I think I've already showed, I've teased this artwork for Anthony already. We're going to show it again. Wow. Look at this. It's an Iron Fist versus Black Panther splash by Bob Allman, Sal Vluto. Great, great combination on that title. Uh, I don't know what they do, 50 issues. What a great combination they were. And we have a total 100% splash of the Iron Fist going up, you know, powering his Iron Fist up and giving the Black Panther a nice, Shot in the plexus. Well, in the it's face. from 2002, man. Yeah. That's awesome. And you know what that means. It's 19 years old. It's incredible. So, Number 39, page 17. I like that one. And then we'll look at this. The Ken Lashley Hulk 181 cover recreation. Wow. Look at that detail. Hand it to me. I want to hold this beauty. Yeah. This is cool. I'll, I'll be wearing pasties, but I'll only show them upon request. <laughs> we have a lot. What do you like about this, Anthony? Sharon ordered like 10 different kinds of pasties for the show. So I'll be, I'll be, uh, you know, modeling them every hour. It's true. So, Windigo, the Ken Lashley Wolverine versus the Hulk 181 commission. It's a beautiful, full cover to cover. I like the details of the I'm blade. So pretty. I'm so pretty. I don't need no stickers. <laughs> I'm the best that ever lived. Behind us, she liked this. She's looking like, ooh. Ooh, that, man? yeah. The pasties. I want some of that, man, with the pasties. He's hot. Yeah. <laughs> You're muted. How did I get muted? Uh, Ken Who's Lashley muted? is uh, in a, in oh, a no. art show <laughs> at uh, Metropolis on, uh, I think the show opens on Friday, too. So that's uh, something else you can check out when you're in New York. Just don't take any of Anthony and Sharon's cupcakes with you when you go. So, uh, all right, Batman. I mean, it's Christian Bale, Batman, right? Christian Bale's here for this round, folks. Christian Bale's here to sell some art. Ah, Here we go. Oh, this is a doozy, folks. The great William Stout from 1998. Look at that Batman drawing. Look at the Dark Knight. Look at that Bat Signal. Look at that Gotham Water Tower. Oh, from 1998. This is 23 years old. You rarely see William Stout drawing any superheroes. But look at that Batman. Oh, that's beautiful. And we got a claim. Thank you, Kevin. And this one's going to be a doozy. Uh, this is an official. What the? Wait a minute. What the? Uh huh. What the? What oh, the? Okay. Honda? Okay. We got Jim Apparel here, folks. Not. What, what, what? Oh, wait a minute. We got Jim Apparel. <laughs> we got Jim Apparel here. I You're put not the Batman. Apparel off. Sorry. <laughs> nice Batman page from 1990. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Batman is undercover as Bruce Wayne. That's him. And then he changes into the Dark Knight, pulls his pants off, and becomes Batman. 31 years old. I don't actually know what issue this is from, but it is published. It has the stamp on the back from 2001. I was told this page was drawn in, in 1990, but published in 2001. So I don't know if it was an inventory story or not, but it's Jim Apparel Batman here, folks. And he's taking off his clothes and putting on his, and I don't know why he's pulling his mask down like I'm doing right now, like that. He's doing that right there, folks. I just sold another piece of art. Robin, I need more packing material. Quit fooling around with Billigan. Get down here. Billigan! <laughs> But anyway, I was told this is from a story called The Nocturnal Fight, where he's going after the penguin. But I don't know the title to the issue, so. But it is published. Christopher, I, I don't want you to know what was in the water before the show. Ah, I don't know why. Uh, you know how why no one wants to usual. sit next to Bruce Wayne? No. Because he's got such bat breath. That would do it. That would certainly do it. All right. Well, uh, over 
<laughs> to round 10. Anthony. Yes. You ready for this? I am. All right. Here we go, Anthony. Round 10 for you. Get oh, wrong one. Wrong one. There we go. Oh, yeah. Keep trying to sell that one. All right, this is really cool because it's by the great Alex Toth of the Fox, a character that he did the art for the comics. Look at that. An Alex Toth commission for $750 from 1993 in Archie Comics. You know, I, he put a copyright thing on it. It might have been used for something, but I don't know what. But a Toth. We don't have a lot of Toth art on the show, so I was trying to, you know, fill a hole there. Yep, nice piece of Toth art, and it's it's like a nine by nine, okay? And then we have a Joe Bennett, oh, Hulk smash! Hulk smash, Joe Bennett, wow. A full body commissioned by Joe Bennett of the Hulk. Now, this guy is, wow, that's like, it's about 12 by 16. 12 by 16 paper, oversized paper. So, yeah, I don't know about their politics or what they do. I just sell art, you know what I mean? And this is a really nice Hulk piece. You got a claim on your 10A. Yep, oh, is that the uh, the Toth? The Toth from Simon B. All right, Simon B. Thank you very much for the Toth. What a great piece. Happy day. There you go. We got to replay something. that one for the Sharona when she gets back. <laughs> she missed out. All right, Mr. Berkey, round 10 to you, and okay. your 10 is on the screen. This is a very cool semi-historic page. This is the page one to Wonder Woman 204. This is the issue where Wonder Woman gives up being a non super part Wonder Woman. She, comes, she becomes regular Wonder Woman. But I thought it was unique. This is actually, believe it or not, they actually painted... These words here are all painted uh, uh, on acetate, and it's all clear underneath it. So if you get the page, you know, it's just sort of cool that they put on acetate. But it's the second life of the original Wonder Woman. So, uh, again, uh, what this is, is it's, it's titled The White. It's the end of her white period with the death of Ai Ching. And she actually gets her new powers back in this issue. So it's the last of the non-powered Wonder Woman, and that's her at the top. And uh, where she got her new powers back at the back. So it was like uh, the end of the era and the start of new super-powered Wonder Woman. So very cool by the great uh, Don Heck uh, from there. And here, a great Don Heck uh, Justice League of America battle page. Just a fantastic page, almost 40 years old, which is great. With the Flash catching an unconscious Hawkman, Superman battles Ultra. Ultra smashes them and slaps them away. Then a big spread of Superman, Flash, and Hawkman. Really, really, really nice page. If you're into dice, too, which is sort of funny in these campy things, uh, like Superman says to Ultra, you crapped out. And he's in with giant dice. But just a great, great, great battle page there. I think I can make a meme out of that. You've crapped out. Exactly. Exactly. And thank you, Mikhail, for noticing my video editing chops on that uh, one for Anthony, too. Which one? And, oh, Mikhail said I did a good job on that one. And uh, and Wes said that's a very dicey page, Berkey. That, that, and that's almost 50 years old, folks. 48 year old years, years old. Uh, 48 uh, years 50 old. 50 and 40 years old. 50 and 40 years old, folks. All right, round 11. Young. <laughs> Anthony Snyder, take us away. You ready, Anthony? Yes. No, not. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. It's the Secret Society of Supervillains. And look who's cameoing in the DC book, but Stan Lee himself. Is it oh, Stan my Lee? God. Are you kidding me? He's a, not a rock star. Shut up, you fool. Where Can you he? see Flashman is, is thinking? 
Yeah. So you got a secret society of supervillains, and they're giving Stanley the business there. No business. Slimy skin pup, I'll strangle you. Oh, no, what? <laughs> boys, boys, cease and desist. Oh, he sounds like a lawyer. All right. Super villains. So you got you got the, the, the rich buckler and Bob Layton giving Stanley the business in a DC book. Did Stan it's sign incredible. it though? Hmm? Stan didn't sign it though, did he? But we're on to eleven B now. No. I could tell you a story about my last signing I did with Stan. Uh all right, so keeping with the DC theme here. This is a DPS by Tim Hamilton and Romeo Tango. I thought now, you were going to say a doozy. It's a D spread splash. No, but uh, this is a, I like big art and I cannot lie. Now Look this, big. this floating face for some reason is an overlay and the chick in that uh, third panel is an overlay, but there is art underneath. That's All right. I'll show really you awesome. one last time. There you go. So you can see the two overlays that, and the second and uh, third panels. But there's art underneath them. But there is art underneath both of them. What? Anthony had an I offer on his 11A. Yes, he did. From Michael Lovitz. Uh, From the Lovitz. love man. The love you meister. At, uh, you were at 950 on that one, Anthony. Can we do eight, Mr. Lovitz? Eight. Just to really show it. There you go. So you're you're offering it. You're countering at eight. Eight. Uh, eleven. Eight. eight. All right. eight. eight. Hon. Eight hon. Eight hon for the love man. Eight honey. He's countering at seven fifty. Seven fifty. Seven seventy five. No, I don't know. <laughs> What if Sharon. I sent Wheeling what if I sent you Michael Lovitz? What if I sent you a Stanley autograph with this page for the eight hundred? How about that? Or seven fifty alone is fine. I, I think that's well, good. so. Mike agreed. So seven fifty. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. Very good. Thank you, Michael. Seven fifty is good. Agreed. All right, Mike. Round eleven for you. Seven fifty is great. Let's Thank you. Eleven A on the board. Very cool for you, Mark Texiera fans. Very cool. Published Wizard uh, Magazine Union Trading Card Art from nineteen ninety three. Very cool. Union gets the All Star treatment here on this Wizard Trading Card pencil and ink. Uh, with paint, actually, as well. On, oddly enough, it's drawn on Marvel artboard and dated and signed at the bottom by text. Uh, on eight and a half by eleven inch Bristol board, is actually drawn on the back of Marvel artboard. How funny is that? But beautiful full size pinup by the great Mark Texier of Union from Image Comics, published trading card art, nineteen ninety three. So that's the first one for you image fans. I thought that'd be a really cool piece and sign and dated. This last one is a doozy. Now, I don't know if this is 70s or 80s, but a beautiful Starlin Warlock drawing, penciled and inked by Jim Starlin. I just think that's really a great, great piece. Uh, drawn on cream-colored uh, illustration board, and it's sort of cool. He actually has the soul gem in, on his head, in his forehead, which is actually sort of cool, how prophetic for the uh, Infinity Wars movies. And we have a claim. Yes, we do, from Maki Poo Poo. Congratulations, That's a beautiful, Maki. I mean, detail. That's a beautiful piece. So. so, again, back to the Texiera. Really nice piece. Mark Texiera, Union, beautiful full size pinup. What the? <laughs> I forgot that was that the one. Is I'm, awesome. yeah. I'm so sorry. Wow. I, I wanted it. to do that one time. And now hey, you were saying it. this is a family show, Bill, and I can't believe you did that. <laughs> what did I miss? What did I miss? What was it? What was you it? I'm not, I'm not even going to go, go in the direction I Show it again. Right? Show it again. Mm -hmm. 
No, no, thank you. It was a flood uh, of awesomeness. Yes, Who was that? So we got it was the guy. Nightbot. The Nightbot made an appearance again, Anthony. And the Nightbot Sorry. dances his bolts off. Yes, he did. Okay. Uh, the, night, the Nightbot is the best dancer out there. <laughs> Hey, 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 Nick, I don't know. Where, where are, all, are all the likes this evening? We need some more likes, everybody. Come on. If you're watching on YouTube, and there's a lot of you watching on YouTube, go down there and hit it's that really like button. really funny. I mean, come on. We had, a, we had an over-under gentleman's bet before the show began at uh, 250 and uh, oh. 250 under. And unfortunately, Anthony lost because we actually got up to 251. <laughs> we just broke 250? Oh, that's cool. We got to 250. That was anyway, so, hey, the hey, guys, we're round 12 now. Round 12, final round. Here before we go to the recap. So uh, I know you're having fun. And They're showing the artwork and everything. Recap. But uh, let's, uh, let's, let's show your final round. So, Anthony, 12. The eight. recap. Recap. Is wow, look at just Ron Friends and Joe Sinnott. You and, don't need to take it out of there, yeah. Anthony. Or do you? And you got the Joe Sinnott signature from 1989. And this is an all you like the unconquerable page. Look at that. Great detail. Lots of bricks. I bricks. Brick a lot. Brick a lot. Is it 1989 or 1990? Because it's, it's confusing. Uh, it was done in 89, it looks like. He oh, likes this. He liked this. The, the and thesis. then published in 1990. Ah, but, I get it now. But, okay, so he signed it. In 89. Yeah, and Broken Bricks by Ulick. It's so cool. Ulick. 1973. All right, your 12B is on the screen. All right. So to give great value in the last round, here it is. A George Tuska and Billy Graham hero for hire. Oh, that's what I he's was. He's moving and grooving about. there, and he's going into action. And that is up there for $850. You won't find a page this low by the Billy Graham for that kind of price out there. Wow. That's a true two, Cage. Why every day? More and more wall repairs and window repairs. What? I don't know. Sorry, Johnny. Person, that's yep. my new phone. Yeah. <laughs> And that's my round 12. Oh, no. Batman has bo boobs. Bat boobs. What? Hey, thanks for the super sticker, Maki Poo Poo. And uh, Ian, thank you as well. I appreciate that. We need a uh, Batman what? joke. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Two-Face. Two-Face who? Hey, Two like, face like six and seven more likes. Real, seven seven more likes for, uh, to get the 150, please. Let's get the 150 tonight. All right. So. Mr. Berkey, round 12. Get ready, round. folks. Get ready. This one's a doozy. Get your hands on the button or you're going to regret it. Here we go. Jim Apero, Batman. Oh, my gosh. 1977. Brave and Bold, 139. Look at that Batman spread there, folks. You are you don't find pages like this for under a grand, a grand or less, uh, forever for a grand or less anymore. But beautiful page, Jim Apparel, pencil. It's actually from 77. I wrote 78 on there. It's actually from 1977. And we have a claim. Yes, we do. Whoops, I went by so fast. Here it is, right there. Samuel Rojas. Congratulations, Samuel. And Thanks let's see the final that one. Final one on the, on the We're going to do a quick change. Sweet. Quick change, quick change, yeah. Luger model. Check this out, folks. <laughs> the great... The great Bob Layton doing the cover recreation to Jim Stylin's Iron Man 100. What a great cover recreation. Oh, pencils and inks by Bob Layton from 2004. And he's raving right at the bottom after Stylin. But one of the most classic covers done 17 years ago. Pencils and inks by Jim, I'm sorry, by Bob Layton for the Jim Stylin cover. Beautiful, beautiful recreation. Oh, I was going to save this for one of our later shows and put it up for fifteen hundred, but I figured that'd be a doozy last piece of the show for a thousand bucks. Beautiful, beautiful cover, ripping a steel beam in the half. Holy mackerel! Oh yeah, chalk another one up for Ramina Man. 
<laughs> yes, thank you, uh, Samuel, for that pickup of the uh, 12A artwork. Very the nice, eyes, very, very nice. But that Layton's a pretty good piece. Uh, Tempe, Gabe. Pre All right. Well, you every here. Why don't we uh, show the email addresses just in case anybody has to go? I saw. Kyle Nobody's Kyle leaving. Go. You just show that. You, nobody Kat has to leave. Show the addresses. Cat just said she had to go. But anyways, hey, if you gotta <laughs> go, we don't want you to go. But if you gotta go, here's the email addresses for both Mike and Anthony. Email both of these fine gentlemen this evening if you purchased any artwork. Let them know your mailing address and your handle here on YouTube, and they will get an invoice out to you post haste. So, uh, but as everybody knows, we are moving into the recap. So we don't want you to leave because this is where all the fun starts. As if we've not had a lot of fun already. We're going to have a great time so far. Just great before time. the recap, Gabe Carino, just tell Gabe before the recap, I'll do 900. I had 1,000 on the JLA. I'll do 900 on the JLA if he wants it before we go to the recap. So he gets first dibs on it. That was all. Okay. So 900. I had 1,000 on it. I'll do 900 right now if he wants it before recap. <clears throat> Okay. All right. Gabe, you've heard that. It is out there to you. All right. Well, it's a great page. Everybody at 900. And yay, oh. Nick. Thank you. We hit 150. I appreciate it. Uh, all right. So to get us in the mood here, how about a little Ragnarok? And Gabe accepted, go. so... <laughs> Oh, Gabe. Oh, good. All right. Sorry, I was off that screen. So Gabe did accept. And all right, Gabe, congratulations on that one. This makes our that recap go the, quicker. Thanks, Gabe. Yep, that was the 10B artwork to Gabe Carino. Very good. Thank you very much. All right, now we're in the recap. And Anthony, you've got a little bit of work to do, but I have confidence in you. Pull the brim of that hat down and get ready to do some work. Rally cap! Rally cap. Oh, all right, no. so we are going all the way back to round one here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and uh, both 1A and 1B did not sell. So we're going to start with those. And let's get uh, Mike covered up and get the 1A on the screen. All right, we have the Graham Nolan Batman card art where he's blustering. He's, What's your best price, Anthony? Oh my God! <laughs> you got me. I waited ten. Right, so, four fifty. Let's do four fifty on the Graham Nolan card art with all that detail. Let's see. Oh, Babe Ruth baseball game. Yeah, it is a toy aisle. Doggity Dan toy aisle. It's got Graham the Nolan. Four. It's got him. Batman card art. What's your best price? Uh, four and a Q. What four and a quarter. What does that mean? Okay. Four twenty-five. So there you have it. Four twenty-five for Anthony's one A artwork. So uh, let's take a look at your one B artwork. You were at five hundred dollars on this. Oh, the macaroni and cheese. Mac and it. cheese box art. Yeah, yes. four fifty on that. Oh my God, I got it out first thing. Can you believe it? Come on. Four fifty. I found the, the published cover. It's published. It's on a box of macaroni and cheese. It's Wonder Woman, Green Lantern. And Superman. Uh, I think Sharon likes it, so I don't know if I'm going to go any lower. Oh, what? Yeah, there's Kevin on the four and a cube. Kevin, <laughs> four and a quarter. Thank you, Kevin, on the. Oh, I'm that. Okay. Great four and a quarter. So what's Thank you. Woo! Mac and cheese. No, that didn't sell. This oh. did. Anthony. Batman. <laughs> What is okay. your best price on, on the mac and cheese? I just wanted to be sure. Uh, four and a quarter again. Four and a quarter. <laughs> I'm like, how can this not sell? She loves this it. This is awesome. I do. <laughs> All right. It's All right. Fun. I'm going right. to bring that and put it up in the kitchen. All right. For... We're going to find the boxed mac and cheese. Yeah. All right, well, you're 2A and 2B and 3A sold, so we are going all the way over to your 3B artwork. Nice. The Tony Harris cover, <laughs> and you were at 500 on this one. Okay. Ooh, War Heroes. Well, Number Tony three. Harris published cover for $400. Oh, my God. That's your best price. That's my best price. That is a good price. The the EVS sold for $450, right? Correct. Yeah, Okay. And okay, so four hun on the Tony Harris. Uh, how much lower can I, mean, I go? We got the planes. We got the dude. Show us. Tell us. 
We've got a published cover by Tony Harris for three hundred and seventy-five dollars. Oh my okay. God, three seventy-five. Hmm? All right, I said okay, three seventy-five on your three seventy-five. That's your best That's price. Crazy, crazy. Three seventy-five. Look, crazy. Nick has offered price. you three fifty for it. Oh come on, Nick! Come on. There you go. Nick Barucci. Nick the Baruch. All right, I'll do that for you, Baruch. Yay! Let's do 350 right. for the Baruch. All right. Just, it for is all a his true leading. Everything. Thank you. Yes, all right. Thank you. you for everything. That's a big deal. All right, moving over to 4A now. This was another cover by Look at those McConaughey. cute faces. Mother Russia number three. Lots With of zombies. What is your best price, Anthony? Well, I want to do at least uh, $25 of zombies. So let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five. No. All right. So we got. <laughs> There's a lot of zombies about, uh, in this. Uh, we got a. Uh, all right. So how about 400 on this cover? Oh, Published look cover. At the back. Look, at the, look at the book. Yep. It comes with the comic books. So if you like it, you can have it. Uh, 400. Oh, man. I did. 375 on Tony Harris. Why not? No, I can't do 150. But I'll do three. I'll do. I'll do 350. All right, Jason, you got it. 350. There you go. 350 on Mother Russia, Jason. Wow, dude, that's a steal. 350 on Mother Russia for the Jason. Must Thank come by you. and pay cash. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> All right, so, All right, so this is one I thought you would really like, Jason. It's uh, Wolverine, uh, Wolverine right, we're killing professor. Switch over to 5A next, now, right? yeah. The, that's yeah, the next this one's one, next. Yeah. And uh, so Wolverine and Professor X killing each other, they're killing each other. How no. about another 350 for that one? They're not doing that, they're killing me, Schmalls. All right. 350 oh, for the man. Jason. Man, this is drama and awesome. And if I say 350, he's probably going to say, How about 300? Right? Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Crickets. Come on, guys. You got the Wolverine. No, it's not 400. What's your best price, Anthony? 300. 300? Yeah, let's do 300 on that. Uh, 300 on Calia this? 300 for your 5A. Exiles number 41. Oh. All right, 300. so see, see a mock. Oh, there this is go. Go. Yep. Oh, it has mock wants it at 300. All right. All right that was the Thank 5A you. artwork. To see a mock. Thank you. All right. Awesome. All right, so we got 300 on the uh, on the Exiles page, right? That's such All right, a great so page. if you want a piece of doing deals, a comic book art, this, Hulk want this. pearl necklace. Anthony, I, I want to frame this. Hulk questioning his sexuality. <laughs> oh. oh, he's even got earrings on it. You and didn't he, notice that? No. Oh, what's beautiful. your best price, Anthony? I don't want to. I'm going to take it after the show if no one takes it. I want you it. Want I'm, it. it. <laughs> I'm laughing too much. It's a piece of dueling dealer history right here. Already, it's dueling <laughs> dealer's history. I'm going to stay. I'm going to hold tight at at four seventy five. Or Bill wants to take it. There you go, four seventy five. Everybody on the five B. So, oh, pearl necklace. We'll never see another <laughs> <black> drag. <Okay. laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, the cool shoes on the back. When and Hulk gets smashed, he likes earrings. He cross dresses. I love it. All right. So yeah. over to your 6A artwork now. And uh, that was your uh, Andy McDonald piece. And you yeah, well, this one, this is amazing. I mean, Andy's known for his detail. I mean, like crazy detail. And look at all that. It, this probably took a week to draw. Look at all that. Might be Game of Thrones. So Game let's do. Let's do 400 on this one with this uh, Batman villain. He's he's wearing a Batman outfit. He is. And then it's the bat signal on his chest and everything. Yeah, he's got Batman. Actually, he's got the Batman hold. What was your best price, Anthony? Four 400. <laughs> I did say it. I did I, say it. So you're I not. You did. I, hey, I just wanted to be sure. Okay, you're getting snidered, I guess. Getting all confused. No, I didn't get snidered on that one. I. 
trust me. Okay, hey, but all right, four hundred. Lee on that Farmer, super details. Has, hey, hey, I'll pull it up on the screen for you. It has Who's been six A. Oh, Lee Parmenter. Parmenter. Lee Parmenter. Yes. Yeah, he would like it at uh, what did I say? Four hundred. You were at four hundred. Yes. Just Thank you. Four hundred for the for the uh, Andy McDonald. Very Yay! nice. Very nice. All right. Now we move over to six B. You were at five hundred dollars for this B. green what rice and prelim. I'm excited. The there it oh, is. Okay, there it is. Okay. Now this Bernie one. Bernie Wrightson. I have the Bernie Wrightson. It's got a uh, kind of a nudie woody girl up top. Uh, there. Well, it's kind of a metal. Like, what are they doing? Are they what torturing that poor woman? This, uh, four fifty, and I have a signed print to go with it. Uh, uh from uh, that has uh, Bernie's signature. I got a bunch of prints, actually. From Kevin Clement, we did a deal. He came by the warehouse the showroom, and we did a deal, and I got a bunch of prints. So, four fifty with a print uh, with his uh, Bernie signature on it. Wow! All right, All right. and it's on that one. Four. four fifty on your six B. Now, uh, hey, just says, uh, I I was trying to figure it out. I can't. Mm -hmm. What? I was just going to pause things for a moment because somebody on Facebook, Edgardo de las Penas, asked. How to purchase here at Facebook. It's the uh, same everywhere, Edgardo. It, you would uh, type the word claim, the lot number, and the dealer's name. If you look right now on the screen, there's that light blue bar underneath the word recap. It actually says claim 6B Anthony. That is how you claim things during our show. And uh, I can actually let you see a claim because it just happened from Kevin Clement. Claim 6B Kevin, the horror, Anthony. The, the warm red. The what? The oh. what red? Warm, the warm, red. warm red. Yeah, they're torturing her and they're taking a scalpel to her. Very no, horrific. No, they're not. Yeah. All right. Painting her. Thank nope. you, Kevin. And on Kevin. to round seven. So your seven A <laughs> artwork. You Kevin were, uh, puts on a horror show, so he likes Wait, horror so this shows. Is the warm red is box. Yes, by Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Owner operator. Uh Chewer Theater What's Halloween show. One? All right. Why do you hit me this? Uh, that goes with the Batman over there. Now, this is the Joe Prado. And anybody that's in the know about the uh, the Reese <laughs> Prado art, I mean, Joe Prado made this stuff look good. What's your best price, Anthony? All right. Let's do uh, 600 on the Warlord. 600 on the, the Lord of War. And what Warlord Sword. were you, Anthony? Warlord number three? I was Warlord number four in four. Uh, Noah. Maybe number five. I don't, I don't know. know. I have to I ask Darren. Was, yeah, he I, was a warlord. Not, I was a right, warlord. So your best price is six hundred dollars on your seven A backed outfit. No. No. <laughs> seven B is up right now, and you were at seven hundred dollars on this one. All right, published cover by Jackson guys from Acclaim, and uh, let's go. Uh, let's go six hundred on this one. That's that's a good, good, good claimy price for <laughs> Eternal Warrior. Geo Macer from Acclaim. Geo Mancer. Geo Mancer. Geo Macer. Oh no. I don't what? I see a man. Geo 575. Man. I got 575 on the public cover. He's rescuing this child. Yeah. All right. 575 is your best price on your 7B artwork. Now we're going over to 8A. The yep. Barretto and okay. Tanderall buttons page. All right, uh, where's my friend that likes Titans so much? We did a deal earlier, didn't we? Am this is I a Kraboom. Oh, where is he? It's a Kraboom page. It's a Kraboom page. Let's do 575 on this one. <laughs> this is on that oversized paper, so it's about mm, 14 by mm, 18. 14 by 18 paper, 575. Turn these machines back on. Sorry, Anthony. All right, so you're at 575 on your 7B and your 8A. That's a so, curated debut, guys. Come on. Yeah, no one can hear the there. Problem. All right, moving over to moving on to 8B. All right, me and Ber Berkey both had uh, rights and pencils, and we both had vintage apparel pages. Look at that. Phantom Stranger. So, you want to do uh, 750 on this one, guys? Seven and a half. 
They should want to do seven fifty. That on is this. my best price. Seven fifty. This is a great price on the Phantom Stranger, bound by the Whoa. bad guys, the Dark Circle. Spooky. Bad guys. <laughs> yep, I agree with Michael. Uh, it is a good price at seven fifty on your. Michael, HD. don't you want Team Titans? Don't you want the Team Titans? Look at that. He didn't claim Don't it while I was up there, Anthony. All right, moving over to your, uh, let's see, the 9A artwork. We have the I feel a combo artwork. offer coming from, coming from combo, combo, combo. Beverly combo, Hills. Combo, combo. All right, so we got the uh, Salvaluda Bob Allman uh, Iron Fist Splash with the Power Up versus Black Panther. So let's do... Uh, Let's cut to the chase on this at seven hundred and fifty dollars. Oh my I'm goodness! I'm so proud of you for cutting to the chase. Cutting to the chase. Seven hundred and fifty. What do we got? What do you, Is what? there a combo price on a on the uh, from Beverly really? Hills? No. Oh, I thought I was going to get a combo offer from Beverly Hills. Wait, what's your best price on this? <laughs> I had to say. Oh, that. Tony Bischler has raised that. Put his hat in the ring at seven hundred and fifty dollars. Thank you, Tony. Thank what? you, Tony Bischler. For realsies? Yeah, for realsies. It's Gonzies. Yay! This one. Yeah, seven fifty. Thank All you, right, Tony. So to Congratulations! I tip my fedora to my fellow Anthony fedora wearing guy. We should do a hat switcheroo. All right, so. This is really nice. Uh, I don't want to do much lower on this one. I'll go seven fifty on this. Uh, uh, Ken Lashley, uh, you know, a Hulk one eighty one commission uh, recreation. Wow. Well, look at that action in this page. Yeah. There's like and the lines. I, I love how this. he updated it. Like you know, Hulk is a little more modern, and Wolverine's more modern, and Windigo's more modern. Oh. And what's your best price on this one, Anthony? Seven fifty. Yeah, I said seven fifty to begin with, but okay, I'll do seven hun for the rest really? of the show. Seven right. hun for my honey. Right. Seven hundred. You heard it. Whoa. Ken Lashley, who has an art gallery opening on Friday in New York. Yeah, that's great. I have. Hey, I wanted to answer EC's question. The reason we are on Monday is because of New York Comic Con. Come and Anthony on. was going to be pretty tied up on Wednesday. We didn't want to load it in. We have a show on Wednesday night. So moved it to Monday just for this week. Just for this uh, week to accommodate yep. uh, my New York Comic Con schedule. I appreciate it. And then Berkey's coming back at you Saturday with an art drop. Yeah. And That's Jay good. Ledger wants the uh, seven hun Ken Lashley seven hun right? Is that yes. what I said? That is correct. Seven hundred. Okay, on seven hun. B and uh, to Jay Ledger. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Yay. Jay. And remember, guys, everybody, send me an email with your PayPal address, and I will send you an invoice. All right. So next up, the uh, 10A was purchased, so we're going over to 10B. That was the That's Joe. That's mine. Still trying to sell that thing for birthday. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so bad, All right, Hulk with hand. Ah! Hulk hand, musket hand. Uh, six hundred. How about a Joe Bennett big big size commission for six? Oh, let's go five seventy five. Five seventy five. Do I have five seventy five? Five seventy five. Five seventy five. Do I have five fifty? Do I have five fifty? Blah 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 blah. Okay, five fifty. <laughs> I'm gonna go 550 on this. That's a really good price on uh, Joe That's Bennett. That's a really amazing Full price. Full size, oversized commission. Oversized. The work, the work that went into this from Joe Bennett. All right. Well, you're at 550 on this one. Now I didn't know about anything like that. Why do you have to bring that stuff up? How about 500 then? Okay, what happened? We're, we're going 500. 500 on for hand. What okay. happened? All right, so 11A was picked up already, so we're going to go to 11B, the Green Lantern DPS. Okay, so... This is the double page. This is the double page spread for the Green Lantern. Watch it. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. Spread. And Tim Hamilton. It's got, it's got uh, yeah, it's got uh, Hal Jordan moving and grooving all over it. 
750. Nice 750. Hmm, 750. No combo deals from from Beverly Hills. Ah, oh, come on. So seven fifty is your best price. Ah, oh, let's do seven hundred. Seven hundred. All right, seven hundred is Anthony's best price on his eleven B artwork. We've got two more artworks. That's incredible. It's to look at here with Anthony. First up is his twelve A. This is that oh, this uh, is friends so nice. four page. Oh, Beauty. this is awesome. Joe Sinnott, beautiful signature on the back. From 1990. And lots of bricks. Lots of bricks. Must be punished. Old. Breaking bricks. So what's your best price on this one, Anthony? Uh, 675. Do I hear 675 out there? It's Joe Sinnott and Ron Friends. Come on. Four. Number four. Four. It's really cool. Did I get an offer on the apparel? Where are we at? Mr. Martin. Bratata. I'm oh. still enjoying this page. What did we say last on the uh, legends of Hey Jim? Eight. You were at uh, 750 on the 8B. Okay, I'll do yeah. 700 for the Mr. Martin. Thank you, Mr. Jim. All right, Jim. Congratulations on that. 700. That's, you just can't Definitely. replace these things. You yes. just can't replace them. Arr. No. Yeah. I've heard that somewhere before. Oh, right. Plus, honestly, if somebody walked up to me at a show with that page, I'd pay 700 for it. So you're welcome, Jim. Thank you for the business. I appreciate just it. To, just to be clear, you were 675 on uh, on the store page. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah, you yeah. lick. You lick. How oh, much would you pay for this one right oh, now, one. Anthony? If you were at a show, 675. And you saw this one, Six seventy-five. Okay, so final piece. How about six fifty? We'll do six fifty. Six fifty. All right, that's an amazing you know, deal. You heard it. Six fifty. Final piece. Now your twelve B artwork. If it would ever make it to the screen. There it is. All right, George Tuska and Billy Graham. Wow. All right. So we have a uh, you know, geez. He's How about what? How about alive? How, alive? 1973. Let's do uh, 773. He's what? Alive? Not 775. Seven, do I hear 775 out there? 775 and 99 cents. 750. <laughs> I want to do 750. All right. 750 is your best price, Anthony? 750. Going into such a big show, it's but I'll do 700. One, one, one. 700 right on the here, Tusca. Only. I mean, right. I thought 850 was a good price. That was my like ringer. Hey, Mike. Wow. 700 for this. All right, so you're so you're at 700 on this one. I don't know, what, Mike. Hey, hey, Mike. Look, we, we oh, got we're it. We're we did it. I thought, I thought you fell asleep over there, sir. <laughs> I'm watching football. What? I take my time that you allot me. There's no, oh, no. like, if he falls asleep, he falls asleep. Exactly. I was just joking with him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Inside. Watch two minutes per piece and round. I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't even get also. Snydered this round. It's all good. He Snydered Snyder. Yeah, all, right. all right. All right. Where's it's my Hulk? Good. Oh, yeah, pearl necklace. Yeah, no? you set that one aside for me. Nobody picked it up. Oh, okay. That's, all right. That's mine. All right. So, all right. Mr. Berkey, you <laughs> quit shaking. Okay. You got your Hulk garb yeah, on. Berkey, pearl necklace. Ah. All right. We are going to start things off with Mike's 1B artwork. And let's get this one on the screen and get him started. Beautiful. George, I think I have 275 on it. I'll go 240. Uh, 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 Bishop, you know what? I'll go two and a quarter. You got Bishop. J Ar Georges Giante, Art Tiber, Bishop, Jinx, Link, Nam, Scorch, and The Witness are all featured. Two and a quarter. Holy moly. You got them all on there. 225 bucks from Bishop, issue two, page four. Very, very cool piece. 225. All right, so 225 yeah. on your one so I'll, I'll go 200 just for the heck of it. Keep things rolling. I'll go 200 before the end of the show. 200. All right. You make me cross things out so many times, Mr. Berkey. 
All right, 200 on your 1B. Let's check out. I just out. want to get everything sold. I'm not like other people. I want to get everything sold. Ah. Okay, <laughs> 300. Beautiful. Dezaniga, I'll do 250. Beautiful. Tony Dezaniga, Jonah Hex commission pin up. Beautiful. It's drawn on 11 by 14. Art board, 250. Beautiful Jonah Hex. Look at the detail on that thing. Beautiful piece by Tony De Zaniga. Some people say De Zaniga. I say De Zaniga. So, really nice. 250 right there. You know what? The heck with it. 200 bucks tonight only. So, 200 bucks each on these two. I want to keep things rolling, folks. 200 bucks a piece. All right. Good good prices for the pair on your 1B right. and your 2A. So next uh, up is your 2B. Porter, uh, oh, beautiful. Howard Porter, Inc. by RT Bear Countdown. We'll go 250 on this one. This has everybody on it. Red Arrow, Vixen, Wildcat, Hawkman, Jakeem, Thunder, Golden Age Green Lantern, Batman, and Alfred. All of them on there. 250 bucks. All right. Just so you know, Kevin Clement claimed your 2A just ahead of Chris Snorick. Yay, that's that one. Good job, guys. That's yours. 250. Got everybody again. Red Arrow, Vixen, Wildcat, Hawkman, Jaquim, Thunder, Golden Age, Green Lantern, Batman, and Alfred. 250. All right, 250 on that oh, one. And there you was... know what? Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Okay, two, two and a quarter. And a two. On your... well, two, so... two and two and a quarter. Hey, just so you know, Joe P is offering you two hundred dollars. For which one? On the two B, I imagine. Even though you know what? Let's just do it. Go ahead, Joe. Two two hundred is fine. Just All confirm right. you're talking about the countdown and not the bishop, just so we know. All right, because Joe asked that question about so who got the uh, Wolverine and the Professor X? That was uh, CMAC and picked that one up. That was one of Anthony's no, no, pieces. Just for, oh, two B, two B. Oh, oh yeah, that was my order. number nine. Uh, so Joe, yep. So Joe All right, got so, this piece. So Joe P got the two B for two hundred dollars. Yes. So first. right now, this is the only piece that hasn't sold, folks. The nice Bishop page, two hundred dollars. All right, so on to your three A artwork. All three A. This is a nice one. Uh, I'll do two fifty. Look at this green Green Lantern all over it. This is. 28 years old, inked by the great Romeo Tangal. Look at those images of, of uh, and, and Carol Ferris turning into Star Sapphire. That's a great page from 1993. $250. Come on, folks. That's a good page there. Wow. 250 wow. on that one. I know that one will sell on the website. 250 tonight only, folks. All right, 250 on your 3A. Now we're moving over to your 3B, a piece by John Byrne. John Byrne Pencil and Inks. I'll go 350. John Byrne Pencil and Inks. It's sort of a science fiction type page. Really cool where the people, the guy creates this machine to help the people, and he messed up the effects, and they go into an ice age. But it's Byrne Pencil and Inks, uh, 350. Wonder Woman, 117. $350. Okay. I'm hearing crickets. You got me. You know what? 300 bucks tonight only. What the heck? We're trying to sell art here. 300 bucks before the end of the show. John Byrne, Pencil and Inks, and signed on the side. <laughs> All bucks. right. 300 on your 3B. Correct. Next up is 300 your, your bucks four. we'll do before the end of the show on that one. All right, your 4A is up next. That's the uh, Thor 50 page. And you're Real up nice Thor. This is nice. Uh, I have four. You know what? I'll just cut to the chase. The the first uh, three, the first, uh, or wait, three. The first 300 gets it. Okay, looks like the burn went to Gabe. That is correct. Thank you, Gabe. 300. And I'll just cut. I'll just go to 300. I was going to go to 350. Tonight only, I'll do 300 bucks on this. Two-thirds splash of Thor at the top. To all the that panel store. 300 bucks. Thor number 50, two-thirds splash, three panels, all Thor. So 300 bucks before the end of the show. 
All right, 300 on your 4A. Next up That's is a nice your... one. You guys could have Bill Cox sign this at a show. You could have would... Bill Cox sign this at I a show. I would not Let's sign that artwork. That. I would not do that. You Mike. could have I... Bill Athor signing this at a show. I'll make sure he signs it for you, too. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know, moving. You get a chair at the booth. Over to Mike's 4B artwork. Now, Mike, that you had actually gone down to $400 on this one already. Wow. Uh... 375. God, this is such a nice Galacy pencil and ink battle page. This is a beauty. Pencil and inks. Paul Galacy. Look at that thing. That is awesome. It is nice. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe we had an offer of 350. If they're still there, I'll just take the 350. Yeah, I do not remember who that was from, but I, I think, think it was you're right. Jason. I think it was Jason. Maybe offer a 350. I'll take the 350 for that if he's still there. All right. So but if he's put... not, you know, that's okay. I, I, I think it'll still sell. But uh, So you're 350 regardless. Of I'll do the not. 350. Whoever says it first. Paul Galassi pencil and ink says, this page is like 70, 60, 70% inks on it. My goodness. Paul yep. Galassi pencil and inks. That is a great. Piece right there. It was uh, Jim Martin. There you go. And uh, oh, Jim Jason Martin. Confirmed. Okay. Yep. So he's so taking Jim, it. Jim Martin is picking up your four B. Okay. Thank you very much, Jim. For you, Jim. And Thank thanks you. for confirming that, Jason. All right. So uh, your five A actually sold to Jason. So let's take a look at your five B now. Now listen, Anthony. Anthony sold his rights in to a book nobody's ever heard of. This is from the Cult Book One, and it's signed by Wrightson. Uh, I'll do 450 on it, signed by rights and at the bottom, and it's oversized twice up from probably one of the greatest miniseries rights and ever did for DC, Batman the Cult first issue. And Bill, can you show the published page for that one if you still have it in the, the system? Very cool, Batman Cult 450. Oh, uh, Greg offered 400. That is correct. You know what? I'll take the 400. That's fine. All right, Greg, Greg, it's thanks. yours, Greg. Greg Teagues. All right, cool thank piece, you very, Andy. very much. It's huge. It's 14.75 by 20.25 inches and signed by Bernie at the bottom. I don't think that Mike has heard, heard of Hellraiser. Have you ever heard of Hellraiser, Mike? Yeah, why? Well, that's what uh, the, uh, the that the piece that Anthony had was from, from a Hellraiser. Yeah, Pinhead was on it. Oh, I didn't Don't know. You it had a main character. But I never heard of Warm Red, the book or whatever the title was called. All right, moving right along. Now we're going over to your 6A artwork. Ah. And uh, and just so you know, on this one, you were actually at 400 already. Look, so. What do you mean? Sharon, Big Johnson. You had counted, somebody had offered you like uh, 350 or something, or even three, I think, and you said four. Doggy tree. Okay, uh, hmm. I'll, okay, 375. First 375 gets it. This is a published, this is published, folks. This is beautiful. 375. I think somebody offered 350, didn't they? 350 or three, I can't remember which. 5B. 5B. Or wait, somebody, 5B, I see 400. Oh, wait, 5B was the right, and I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, we got a claim. Jason. Right from yep, Jason Shock is claiming it at your three seventy five. Thank you very much, Jason. Thanks, Jason. And uh, Brent, Brent, thank you for making an offer. We do always appreciate Thanks, that. Thanks, Brent, well. too. Yeah. All right, so moving over to your six B now. This was the Tarzan daily strip. The Tarzan. This is twenty and a quarter inches long. I will do five fifty from nineteen forty seven. You got Tarzan in every panel battling a crocodile. 550. I had one on our on our dueling dealer drop, and uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, the claim is was different. Okay, uh, but real nice Tarzan from 1947, and I confirmed the word blurbs are are in Spanish. So uh, you got the word blurb, word the word balloons. Uh, <laughs> you're kind of you're tongue tied tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Hard to say that. Matter of fact, I'll go five and a quarter before the end of the show. Great Tarzan bailing a crocodile. Th strip from 1947. 
We're talking 70, almost 75 years old, folks. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. I saw Kevin Clement said the word claim with nothing after it. I, that might have been a mistake, but uh, that's all right. If that's yeah, I didn't know if he was claiming the Batman. I think he was probably one or another. But anyway, okay. five and a quarter before the end of the show, folks, on that one. All right. So let's jump. We got, we've got four more pieces to go. And uh, okay. your next one is your 9B artwork. The apparel. Yeah, oh, Batman, I'll do 700. I'll knock 100 off just to keep things rolling. 700. I know, again, the, uh, wait, let me scroll down. I know I was told the, the story, uh, let's see, nine. The story this is to is called Nocturnal Fight with Batman and the Penguin. So that's the story that this to. But I was told it was drawn in 1990 because that's the penguin there in the upper right corner. Batman at the bottom, 700 bucks. Jim Apparel, folks. Can't beat that with a stick. Seven hundred bucks. All right, fact, seven. I'll do six fifty before the show ends. Six fifty before the show ends. Okay, six fifty on your Batman nine. Art, folks. Ninety. Batman in his Levi's. Batman with Batman on it for six hundred and fifty bucks. I promise you that. <laughs> All right. So next is your ten A artwork. This and, is almost fifty uh, yep, years old. This is a good one. That's I'll beautiful. Go down eight, I'll go down to eight. 50 on this. I'll go down to 850. This is the last issue. This is the issue where Wonder Woman transforms from regular Wonder Woman into superpowered Wonder Woman. This is the last issue. Uh, halfway through the book, she changes back to Wonder Woman, our costumed Wonder Woman. And this is all painted again. I thought this, again, I think that's pretty cool. This is all painted, actually, and acetate above it. It's all hand hand painted. But uh, uh, 850 on the Wonder Woman. It's the page one from the classic issue. And that's all Wonder Woman at the top there. From 1972, almost 50 years old. Eight fifty. Matter of fact, eight, uh, the 850. Oh, all right, well, let's uh, say, let's... 800 tonight only. 800 on this. Well, and hang on. Mike, 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 hey, Mike, calm down, Mike. You, you I'm very get... calm, Bill. I'm very calm. I, Thanks. I was trying to take care of that other piece because it did sell at 800 to Mike Cushion, number hey. one. Well, yes, you gotta yell you. claim, Bill. That's I how was we trying. do this. I, I couldn't yell over you. You no, no. You just say claim, and I'll stop. Ah, uh, Berkey. I still love you, Bill. Don't. I still love my little Billigan. Don't worry. Oh boy, there you go. All right. So thank you very much, Mike, on that uh, ten A claim at eight hundred, and uh, we all we definitely appreciate that. And then Kevin Clement on the nine B, and that was at six fifty. Man, I love you, Bill. See, I'm keeping track of everything over here. I just don't like to shout over you. No, well, when something's claimed, Bill, I'm trying to discuss these things. If something's claimed, it go, Mike, claim. Just override, say claim. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to do that next you time. You yell, claim, baby. Claim. Claim, baby. All right, so two more pieces. I thought we were the old married couple here. This is uh I know, I know. Listen, two I'm more pieces here. you got to yell to me to stop. you got to say, claim, and I, I'll stop immediately. <laughs> All right, claim, baby. Claim, claim, baby. baby. All right, Mark <laughs> Teixeira. Just a, claim, baby, like Al Davis. <laughs> 900 bucks, 900 bucks, published 1993, 28 years old, uh, from Wizard Magazine Union. Union uh, <laughs> pinup from Image Comics. Beautiful full pinup there. Let me scroll there. Uh, eight and a half by 11 inch marble artboard. It's drawn Union. Uh, done on mar back of Marvel artboard, so very, very cool. Matter of fact, I'll do 850, 850 tonight only you, by the great Mark Teixeira, signed and dated at the bottom. And what was the size again? Just uh, eight and a half by 11. Eight and a half by 11. All right, there you go, Jason. Just that's the top that's half the size of a Marvel 850 on your 11A. Uh, Dave, you know what? Dave offered seven fifty. I'll take the seven fifty. That's fine. All right, seven fifty to Dave. All right, Dave. I just want to keep getting sales, folks. Me and Anthony are wheeling and dealing tonight. Yes, claims, you both baby, are. Claims. Claim, baby, claim. All claim, right, final baby. piece. Yeah, claim, baby. Final, final piece for Berkey. <laughs> it's his twelve B artwork. This is a really nice. I will do nine hundred. Bob Layton, 17 years old, recreating the beautiful, beautiful Iron Man 100 that was actually originally drawn by the great Jim Starlin. He even gives, gives his homage after Starlin. 
but uh, beautiful, the great Bob Layton, Iron Man artist, 17 years ago, drawing the classic Iron Man 100, 850. 850 tonight will go. I'll knock another 50 off just to keep it going. 850 Iron Man 100 regression. Draw an 11 by 17 art board by the great Bob Layton pencils and inks. And definitely, what was your final price? 850. Yes. Okay. That's that's fair. One, two, three, four. So all everything sold but five, folks. Only five pieces didn't sell. Wow, I thought that one would go for like under 300 bucks. Great Green Lantern page. Bishop, any other offers for me and Anthony, folks? Just ask away. Look at that. Swords and axes. Who wants swords and axes? And rescues. How about a combo deal on the swords and axes? Uh, I got a claim on my 12B, Bill. I did see that. Black Shoe Films. I think 850s. That was at 850. Yep. Thank you on that. So I only have four pieces left. And and uh, Anthony, you just got an offer from Rick Alvarez, 325 on your 1B artwork, and you were at 425 on that. Yeah. And a 500 offer on his friend's Thor. That is true as well from Nick. I'm going to hold know. off on the mac and cheese. Sharon decides she likes it. I might. Th- oh, come on. And uh, yeah, let's do 500 for the Baruch. That's a really good price, Nick. Yeah, that is. That is yeah. a great price. That's 500 on Anthony's 12A to Mr. Barucci. And then we got the I Geist the cover. You want Anybody want the Geist cover for 500 Oh, my God. Or the – how about – how about swords and axes for nine hundred dollars, folks? This was only two hundred dollars. All the X characters <laughs> on it, two hundred bucks. Swords oh, and axes for nine hundred. Nine hundred. Yep. Yep. What was All my right, lowest yeah. on the Green Lantern, Bill? I'm sorry. What was that? What was my lowest on the Green Lantern? Oh gosh, which one was that? So that we was got the burrito. Two B or something. To be uh, the next best oh, the thing countdown. Yeah, you, no, 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 wait, no, wait. Which one? Oh, now you've got me confused on which one. You, oh, you're talking about your 3A. You were at 250 on that, Mike. 250. You got Berkster. I did. So only got four pieces left, folks. Hey, I'll get Bill Cox to oh, sign this for you one day when he's dressed up in his store. 450 on the on the uh, Bennett. All right. I think. I think this the uh, the ladies in the studio are getting Berkshire and Snyder tonight. Six fifty right. Galactic Crossing. Six fifty. So I'm confused. This is on uh, Anthony's twelve B. Galactic was offering six hundred, and Anthony just countered with six fifty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Man, we got a double page spread, spread, splash. Stay, oh, I'd say this is the re recap, but uh, and, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, That's a big Naughty or, nice, Naughty or Nice did offer Anthony uh, 475 on the uh, Geist cover that you were at 500, Anthony, and that was your 7B. Yeah, all right, let's do that. Okay, Naughty or Nice has taken. The seven B artwork for four seventy five. Four seventy five. You can tell how much I want to sell this piece by what I priced it. <laughs> hey Jeff, I completely agree. I do need some award show. Uh, music All right, uh, well, come on. Let's we get this done at six fifty. Uh, That's a good price. Six fifty. And, and oh, thank you, Chris. Gosh, we, we will keep Anthony the, uh, and I. We'll keep the green room stocked with whatever we were drinking before uh, tonight's show. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, oh, great show, great show. Oh, All right. Uh, well, I think we're just going to fall a little incredible. short of the 20,000. Do we got a oh, winning meme, not. Bill? Do we got a winning meme? Do we have a winning meme? I don't oh, Carl yeah. Necklace! <laughs> hey, was, if you claim meme. this, Bill, it goes on my... No, wait a minute. If you claim it, it goes on my account. And then you get the percentage. Yeah, so we lowered 100 bucks. Yeah. We work it out. We'll work it out. Anyway, here, the winning meme, the winning meme is uh, right here. 
Are we doing 650 on? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Chalk up another victory for Ramina Man! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> I got go. a number one dad trophy. Oh, wow. I never got Made out of No, Lego. I got world's best dad coffee mug, so I think that's just as good. That's cool. You can't drink coffee out of that. Is that really my total? I thought I was a little higher. Well, you know, we will always double check things. Uh, the production staff is texting me about something. And uh, all I can say is I can confirm your, that the production staff is right about what they were asking me about, 11A on Anthony. But uh, that is not what we were talking about earlier. Just so talk Yes, I am setting up at Baltimore. Don't forget, Ooh. folks, 5 p.m. Saturday, me and Bill, big show, 50 pieces. 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Saturday. Big show. There it is. Look at that. Wow. Raiders of the Lost Art this Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're going to New York Comic Con, you can still enjoy the show and then pull us up on your smartphone. And I got enjoy. a couple offers. I got a couple offers, I think. All right. Let's do 400 on the Bennett. Hand, hold hand. 400 for Ilya. And All I'll right. see you that at the was, show, uh, right, Ilya? You you have something on hold for uh, last week. Ilya, at the show. Ilya taking your uh, 10B at 400. I had JLA 201, Nick. I had JLA 201 today. <laughs> Who wants this at six? Where was that 600? I'll take that 600. Okay. Yeah, you need to update uh, my total. I'm over 8,000. Oh, smash. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. It'll get updated on when it's time for me to Hulk when it's time smash. to pay the piper. I can guarantee you I'll have the right number. Oh, smash pearl necklace. But uh, Indiana Jones, we had to have Indiana Jones again where everything melts with Anthony and this. Right. So you're saying if Galactic Crossing happened to still be watching, they could have it for 600. Is that what you're saying, Anthony? Yeah, sure. All right. Well, we'd have to see if uh, that if they're here still. If, if they don't reply, then uh, you would be out of luck on that. Look one. at that. That was that bottom oh, tiers were there sold. it is there you can you can now right. consider Thank it you. sold the 12b is sold for good 600. job anthony good job yeah all right so we broke I, yes, I, I think i'm over eight so that's good and Those then hands. jazz hands. all right we have already called it all right mike you've won it uh i hope we see everybody on sunday again or saturday again there's no show on wednesday because anthony is busy with new york comic-con that was saturday uh, 5 p.m Yes, Saturday, 5 p.m., 50 pieces. We did a bin dive, and uh, there'll be it'll be a fun intro for that show. I, and and be, I'll make sure everything is going to be pictured and priced. Pictured and priced, yeah, exactly. Nothing Come claim, baby, claim! Come see me. Uh, I think I'm at the end of uh, 3,300 aisle. <laughs> 3,300 with a triple boost set up, and then email me your PayPal. Oh, That's that right. Goes. I need yeah, to get that please, up on the screen email, here. Anthony and me. Please put your address. You always have your shipping address in your email to me with what you bought. There you go. Just let's get this on the screen, everybody. Email both of these gentlemen this evening. Let them with know what you address. picked up with your mailing address so that they can properly get an invoice out to you this evening So with the proper shipping amount. So do that this evening. Do not delay. Do not wait till tomorrow. Do it tonight. And also let them know what your YouTube handle was as well. It just makes matching things up much easier. So uh, again, thank you, everybody. It was a fun night as always, and uh, even Thanks, when everybody, even when we things went a little crazy, business. it went crazy in a good way. Yippee! Set, Yay! 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 Set, set that artwork Yay! aside for me. It's mine. <laughs> I don't know why you want Hulk and Drag, but okay. Oh, it's, a, it's a memory. It's a memory. Ah. I'm sorry, I did not want Bill. I did not want Bill Lash, but I'll take that one. Tom Morgan. I don't have anything by Tom Morgan. I would I, take so, Bill Lash in a heartbeat. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you would. All right. Uh, good night, nice everybody. Earrings. Enjoy New York. Thinking about the show. Uh, Saturday. Hulk want party dress.